Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. This is lecture 18 where we'll discuss waves and wave packets. Okay, so let's start by just um, thinking about and discussing some of the uh, terminology and then and the properties of, of waves. So what I've what I've drawn over here on the right is a, a transverse wave uh, in space. So it's y versus x, two spatial dimensions. So this is a waveform at a particular point in time. Okay, and the wave has an amplitude uh, is denoted by y naught and a wavelength which is denoted by lambda. And we can write the equation if this wave is now traveling, okay, to the right, okay, in the plus x direction, then we can um, write an equation for this wave uh, as y equals y naught cosine k times x minus omega t. So k we've is the wave number, okay, which is just um, uh, two pi okay over lambda and um, the uh, omega is the angular frequency which is equal to um, 2 pi times the just normal um, frequency okay and um, so this this equation describes uh, describes the um, a, a point in, uh, describes a wave which is traveling to the right uh, with wave number k and, and uh, angular frequency omega. Now one thing that we, one way to think about this and just to start to see how we can envision this wave moving <clears throat> to the right is we can consider a, um, a, uh, a point on the wave, any point on the wave Okay, let's imagine this point down here, okay, and we can imagine that in time we can follow this trough or this or a peak. We can follow this trough as it moves to the right, okay, and so basically we're just sitting at this uh, position, this um, point of constant displacement, constant y, as time goes on, okay, and so let's follow that that point of constant displacement as time evolves, and so. What we, what we mean when we say uh, a point of constant displacement as time evolves is that, uh, is that y, um, the displacement of the function of time, is just equal to constant. And so that means, if we look at the equation of the wave, that, that the cosine has to be constant, which means that the phase of the wave okay, um, has to equal to a constant. That's the only way for this, for y of t to be equal to constant, other than the trivial case of that y sub zero is equal to um, zero. Okay, and so uh, if if phi is equal to constant, that means that d phi dt is equal to zero, and if we take the derivative of phi with respect to t, we get k times dx dt minus omega is equal to zero. And so we find that dx dt is just equal to omega over k. And we give that, um, that quantity, we call that v sub p or the phase velocity, okay? And this is just a property of the wave. It's the velocity associated with um, the uh, points of constant phase on a wave. That's why we call it the phase velocity. It's the velocity associated with the points of constant phase. Okay, so those points, that point, this point of constant phase is going to move to the right with a velocity omega over k. All right, 